If you have any questions or concerns about this week's episode, please call or text producer Dan at 778-288-9255. Start the party, Dan! It's time to turn it up, we're getting crazy, going wild, talking nasty stuff. Dude scrolling down, like fucked up, fire, boom, roast, mad pup, sticking up the replies. We don't want to go to school, we don't want to get a job, we just want to get on line and get our ass blocked. We don't follow the rules, we do whatever we want. It's Block Party, the podcast, like we're tweeting a duck. Block Party! Hello, friends, idiots, and friends who are also idiots. Welcome to your favorite podcast about social media and rejection. It is Block Party. This is episode number 290. I'm John. I'm Stefan. And with us is a fantastic guest, a first-time guest here on the program, incredibly funny comedian, Juno Award winner, actor. You may have seen him on Rami or the new feature film, Sometimes I Think About Dying. Dave Merhaj is here. Hi, Dave. So I won... Dan, I got to give a shout out because <laughs> the size of that Red Bull was crazy. <laughs> I didn't even flinch I was, when I saw it. I'm so, I'm so used to it. Let's see it so again, Dan. Dan I, I, absurd. I, yeah, I, got, oh I drink like one of these a day. What's no, no, I, love, I drink the little one. The no, And it's no sugar, right? The sugar-free yeah. one. I yeah, respect yeah. it. It just, I haven't seen that size outside <laughs> of a store. <laughs> <laughs> right, you just thought they live in the store and no yeah, one just, actually I never buys knew them. Would have bought What them. kind of psycho would buy something this big? Well, well I got, you guys get yeah. me up early. I got to wake up somehow. Dan, no, it's 12.30. Dan, I, look, I want to give you a shot. <laughs> I, I couldn't even focus. I went, holy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dan is the, the man. Yeah, he really wow, is. There's dude, no doubt about that. Yeah. He it, used to, I mean, he used to, it's not as like, Bad now. Well, can you show us your desk, Dan? How's it looking? I'm not showing you my desk. Hey, are there a lot of cans on the desk right now? There's three, four, five, <laughs> six cans and two bottles. That's but that's I like less it. than usual. I feel like, right? Yeah, it's it's not too bad in here right now. Okay, this it. is just like the last couple days. What is your like the age of all? Not you don't have to tell your age, but, like, <laughs> but you just asked. You're like, what is can, your age? Yeah. But actually, because like have. the music you pick too is like it reminds me of like when I grew like I was in high right. school. I'm I'm 18. <laughs> it reminds me of like real like when punk was yeah punk's probably it's still a thing but I mean yeah. like I remember we would kids would play or friends would play it I'm like oh this is fucking people are throwing shit like it had that very good uh, that's that's by like, that's by our friend Big Howell who does uh, our our bonus theme music as well has done lots of music yeah. for us lots of music for our friends pods as well he's and he's he'll do like all these different genres too so he's he's very very talented oh it's crazy i like yeah. it i was like yeah Man, it reminds me of being in windsor where i'm from right and i was like were you a pot like did do you have a punk moment dave no i didn't know i was anything. gonna say i feel I mean, like I, the only a... thing i would listen to was like not real punk i would listen to friends got me into like obviously blink 182 okay Found yeah Glory, yeah um and that's uh, story of the year yeah. Love oh, story of the year. I died. Yo, okay. I would not have thought you were a story of I the year that guy. song. Until the day I die, I'll, I'll steal my heart <laughs> for you. <laughs> I love it so much. I still play it. Can I? Can I tell you, Dave? Though, okay. So, Dave, when I used to live in Vancouver. Dave would often stay with me. When yeah, yeah. You really did me a solid. Yeah, yeah, you stayed at my house. You that. stayed at my house a few times. And I remember one of the times you were staying at my house was right after Majid Jordan put out their first EP. Yes. And you were so obsessed I'm with so obsessed, in a, pl- yeah. a place, place like, like this. this. Yeah. And you listened to that song more than I've ever heard one person listen to one <laughs> song. Oh, yeah. I still. <laughs> it's like you would be out on my porch just hitting because i think the ep maybe wasn't even out yet and you would just the youtube video would stop and you would would just play it it over and over and over over again and then like um yeah i mean i i I was at a show their show this year i think or last year in brooklyn yeah they play they might have played that and i just yeah it's such it's a a great song it's a great song in a place like this the whole ep was amazing Uh uh-huh to answer yeah. your question about about ages, though, we're kind of all like, John, you are thirty nine. Mm. Uh-uh. You're turning thirty nine this year. Sorry. Yeah. Fuck. Sorry. You. I thought you were turning forty this year for some reason. Okay. And fuck off. How about I'm, that? Well, okay. I, I don't think there's anything wrong well. with turning forty. Oh. 
John. Well, Dave is uh, you're I'm you're, 43. Okay, yeah, yeah, there's was nothing wrong. 40 yeah. was like was like when I turned 40, it was like my friends did real nice things. I I, I did it. I remember having anxiety and 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 kind of depression about it. But then I remember that that birthday was super sweet. Yeah. What'd you, what'd you, what did you do? They surprised. They first. Um, they 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 had my uh, AirPod. Like they were able to tap into my those pods in the apartment. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And okay. They were, and so I woke up to Fifty Cent "Get Rich or Die Trying." Okay. Yeah. And, okay. and I, I got. I woke up. I thought it was a dream. I was like, "What the?" Because like, I was in my boxers. Like, what's happening? <laughs> so I I go Siri stop, and then it came on again. So I'm like, "Yo, I'm tripping out." <laughs> then I hear bangs at the door, and then it was my two uh, buddies. Yeah. And yeah, they took me for like a breakfast burrito, and then there was a surprise in the in the afternoon at another friend, our, our mutual friends' out place. And okay. He came in with like a confetti gun. <laughs> the way he started, you're like, yeah, I did feel like, like and he fucking shot me. Yeah, <laughs> it just shot me in the arm, but it was that, cool. You know that what? Is nice. I also nice. debated maybe saying this. Maybe I don't know. If keep or or just uh, to answer them when you're talking about Majid. Years like years later, uh, I like met them. Okay, and then and we started to kick it and hang. Oh, so that's why I was like so tripped. Chill with them. And, and he, like, just um, it, I, I, I can't re- remember fully how it came about, but Majid came to a JFL show. Okay. In 2019. And then you we told- had talked before that. And then I was like, do you want to come watch vo- to, to the show? And he's like, yeah. And then that's, how, but it was just trippy in a sense, because I remember playing. That's yes. why I'm saying it because <laughs> right, how yes. crazy it was. <laughs> that you're, that you're, you're, you just chill. Just playing that song over and over and to think you would like years later. Just hang with them. Yeah. I don't, think, I don't know if I've had that, like, kind of a moment like that. That tripped me out. It's still where like, you're like, I'm obsessed with. I guess. Uh, I mean, I guess like working with Nate Bargetti. I was like a yeah. huge fan of his for years, and then like open for him, and then he was really nice and like took me out for dinner and stuff. And I was yes, just like, it's the, I'm at dinner with Nate Bargetti. This is fucked up. That's yeah. the saying. It would be yeah. And it's also you're like like playing the music so then you just never i didn't think so that's why because i do remember when it came out and i was staying i, I would walk around vancouver and i was telling everyone i'm like you gotta listen to this song. <laughs> <laughs> it was that song and post malone's uh white iverson okay i think it came out maybe around the same time yeah that sounds yeah. right yeah I would send it to all my friends and they'd be like, what the, what is this? What are you doing? I called Stefan white Iverson for years and then post Malone, like stole it. It was yeah. so crazy. Really? You'd Just cause I'm, I'm Just very sure. ball. Well, and I'm very short and I don't, I don't practice at all. I hate practice. <laughs> at any, at any I mean, you are white practice. Iverson. Yeah. <laughs> and once Dan passed out during a podcast recording and I stepped over him, like he was, uh, uh, Tyrone. Dan, did you actually fall asleep? Oh, <laughs> that's happened a few times. Yeah. <laughs> What, what, you're on camera. Well, so when like Stefan and Dan live in Vancouver, so when I lived in Vancouver, they would come over to my house. Like I had a studio in my house, and we would record in my house. Well, didn't the guests see that Dan fell asleep? Yes, the Dan fell asleep yeah. directly behind the guests. Who who was the guest for that one again? <laughs> oh man, I don't. Dan, do you remember? I don't know if I. Remember. I have no I idea. No chance, Dan remembers. He, well, I, yeah, you're right. But so so out. we on the so Dan would sit beside the guest almost like this on like one side of the table, and he was really hungover. Was it no, that you were hungover? No, I think this you were one sick, I was actually I sick. Yeah, yeah. Okay. this is one you, of the yeah. times Can I would get sick. Can we just say hungover for the story? Because then it's like the Red Bull. It all makes sense. <laughs> just oh. let's say hungover. Because yeah. No, stories. when I'm hungover, I stay awake. I'm just miserable. <laughs> <laughs> so Dan's hungover, and he falls asleep in the chair and it was like to the point where the episode ended and i think the guest was like i don't i don't know if i can get up because yeah, like, he was behind the guest on yeah. the floor oh my, yeah. they knew he fell asleep oh he was laying oh, on yeah. the floor dave he yeah. wasn't like it wasn't like he was sitting in his chair and kind of like nodding off because dude like, i've done so that before sick. too though you have also done that before <laughs> yes. I, I looked at your guest your list of guests that you had in the past and like i was like um impressed I was like, oh yeah thank it's you. a good list yeah so oh yeah who did you fall asleep for <sighs> It wasn't I mean, Tony Hawk. I know that. Yeah, you were awake for Tony Hawk. You were awake for Tony Hawk. Yeah, no, it was someone who sucked, I think. 
<laughs> Damn, Dan. Yeah, just he cut some. Dude, meat. if you fall asleep during this thing, um, uh, <laughs> yeah, that yeah. would be the great Well, he's that's, he's got the Red Bull, so he shouldn't fall asleep. Yeah, Dan, if you fall asleep during this podcast, I will talk about you falling asleep on this podcast for years. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. As like as like a failure in in my career. In like career. <laughs> yeah. Oh, if Dan falls asleep. Because I mean, you've you've had we were talking about this in the car on the way over, but you've had a very successful, uh, you know, last few years, and and you just you were in not your first feature film, but kind of your first where you're like a main you're a main. No, character. I've never been in a. Film. Oh, this is it. This is the first film. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, and, uh, and and yeah, you're like you're you're in now. You're like a you're a famous actor. So if Dan falls asleep. I mean, that's it's, very fucking rude. If he falls yeah. asleep, I mean, I, I um where i was when i was in i was just in vancouver and the film had was playing there i remember and i'm not used to that kind of i remember i was with uh graham clark okay yeah. i had just yeah. done their podcast right yep and then i was waiting for an uber but i went to get a coffee and sandwich and the guy goes uh because you leave your name dave and they go dave and a sandwich for dave and then i walk over and the guy goes dave Mraj. Or something like that. I'm like, yeah. I go, yeah. He goes, dude, I just saw sometimes I think I'm dying. But Graham was just standing. He's like, what? <laughs> I don't think he could hear. Yeah. So just this prolonged, there's just a sandwich in my hand and me talking. <laughs> and he goes, what was that? I go, oh, he just, rem- he saw from the film, which is still, to me, it was trippy as shit. That's got to be true. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I, you know, because did he know you before seeing the movie? I don't think or, he knew me. Before oh, wow, so that's even so, so he yeah. that he remembered you, recognized you because it's probably like yeah, he he's I'm a I don't know I'm assuming he's Daisy Ridley fan because she's in the film or right. and then but he he also was like I love movies like that like that genre yeah right that style so but right. it was just still trippy that's cool people, when people. Because imagine the people just around going like, who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Like, I have had that become moment. A nuisance. I've had that moment. The the one, and it still bothers me, and I think about it all the time, <laughs> is uh, the World Junior Hockey Championships were in Vancouver. Yeah. It was probably pre-COVID, right? Like five years ago. It sounds right, I think. Six yeah. years ago. And my friend j- gave us these tickets. I, I don't know if he had tickets to the whole tournament, but whatever. Yeah. And it was, we got access to this like gold club before the game or whatever in the right. Canuck stadium. And then there was this guy in the, in the gold club who was clearly famous because multiple people asked him for photos. And it was like a young, good looking guy. And you guys, and I just was like, I don't know who the fuck this is. And I was just like, maybe I should just take a picture and just try to figure out who it is. <laughs> and you guys were all there. No, it was, no I was with just my drawing. family. I was with my family. And you never found out who it was. No. And like my guess, I was like, maybe he's on Riverdale. Because like yeah, Riverdale yeah, yeah. was oh, popping up and yeah. he just looked like a hot guy I could see that, that would be on Riverdale. It was probably Riverdale. But then I've, I seen one of the, look- I've seen one of the twins from Riverdale. The guy who plays Jughead. I've seen him walking around downtown uh, from time to time. I tried to what? find him. I couldn't. I, I was like, I don't think it's any of these guys. I don't know who the fuck it was. That is very. But it is a weird it moment weird where you're like, yeah. okay, this guy's obviously famous or these or known. No. But yeah. I don't know who this is. And it's just uh, not awkward, but it's. You're, you're, it's almost like you're if you're in a biz- place of business, you're kind of like causing traffic, right? Because yeah. you feel. Did you're, this guy ask for a picture with you and stuff? Or he? No, just, no. He's okay. like, I, I remember when I was doing MTV Live years ago on this in Toronto. This person was like so jacked because they love the show, and they're like going on, and their friend is with them, and they're like, "Oh, what do you do?" And then the friend looked at me. She goes, Hey, sorry. I, I, I don't know who the fuck you are. <laughs> like, I'm like, along, I don't know if she swore. Right. But it was, it, it was better that she said nothing. Yes. Right. Yeah. Now you're like making me, I'm like, Hey, I didn't ask for this. <laughs> I didn't ask to be stopped. And yeah, talk. you didn't stop them. They stopped yeah, you. And, and I didn't come here with like arrogance. Now you're making it when someone goes, I don't know who the fuck you, I'm like, Hey, I didn't ask. Like, it was just yeah. so aggressive. Yes. To go, I don't right. know who you are. I'm like, clearly I know you don't know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> I already I come into this situation thinking you knew because you was. didn't say anything. So I already yeah. know actively that you. It's just something funny about humans that they have to tell you. Yeah, right. You have to be like, hey, I don't know you. It's yeah. just like, yeah, I get it. <laughs> I've only had that happen once, and it was in Australia of all places last year. I went uh, for our friends uh, Tom Walker and Demi Lardner. They were getting married, and 
Uh, it was like the first day I was there. We you went got to recognized? Their- Did you talk about this? I don't think I talked. I think I posted a oh, picture of it on Instagram, but I, on, I don't. I don't think I talked about it on okay. here. But um, I was in line at the grocery store. We just got there because we were buying some some stuff for our Airbnb. And yeah. this guy taps me on the shoulder, and he's like, "Stefan, Stefan Heck." And I was like, uh, "Yeah." And he's like, "Oh, I love, I love the Twitch room. I love the Go Off Kings. Can I get a picture?" And I was like, "What the fuck?" And we're like in line and I'm like, I'm like telling people to go in front of us. And I'm like, I got to this country like, like six hours ago. I, this is, is this going to happen the whole time I'm here? It didn't. It was the only time it happened, but it was. Well, how great it was that. It w- it felt cool, but it was also like the, a very, very strange feeling. Cause it was like the last thing I expected. In Australia. In and Australia. So I, I was sort of noticing the guy didn't say, he didn't say anything about block party. No, he was a, he was a fan uh, of the stream. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. Why bring it up on here then? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I started this whole. <laughs> oh, you're good. You're good. <laughs> this whole like vain conversation. <laughs> I did actually, and this is fucked up, but I did actually get recognized also like two weeks ago. Really? Why is uh, it fucked up? I well, just because I, I got recognized for this podcast, which fe- that feels fucked up when you for, for this one, or do you mean do you mean you're much more successful? <laughs> no, one? no, I mean I guess that party. hadn't come out at that point, right? Yeah, so, and yeah. also like with Broomgate, I feel like people don't necessarily they wouldn't know what I true. look like yeah, or whatever. True. Yeah. Um. No, I just to that's me that's the one I know. That's that's because uh, curling. Yes. Yes. They just don't see your face. You're saying? Well, it's because it's just a podcast, right? So they wouldn't necessarily know what I look like. Like in like in this, like we post the video of this on youtube there's lots of pictures of me on our instagram oh, so i think people can associate like oh this is what john looks like and then when they see me they go i think that's john gotcha whereas with broomgate i'm just a vo- i'm just a voice and, you know? and and that one is just purely fans of curling i think a lot of non curling. i think a lot of crossover it. Yeah. yeah it You're just d- came out it's a new it's a new podcast but it's like a six-part narrative series about a scandal that happened in curling but it's been, but it's been. So you, you, you don't have to know anything about curling to know oh, yeah. scandals to, to enjoy. Yeah, it. It people love pottery, scandal. dude. Yeah, yeah. total. It, yeah. I mean, curling is basically yeah. pottery. But um, no, so the guy. So I was at a soccer game. I went to see the Vancouver Whitecaps play the Calgary Cavalry yeah. uh, a couple weeks ago, and uh, yeah, the, it was it was really weird too because I think like when you're famous, right? Like I think that the idea is like I don't want to bother this person, right? Yeah. Like it's like. They're not, you know, they're there. They probably get stopped all the time, whatever. And this guy acted like that to me, which That's was so like, funny. I'm not famous. Like you could have just, you, come, you up could just come up to and me. Say, oh, like he sure. waited until the soccer game was over and he was sitting like, just like, not like literally like a row and like four seats over from me. Yeah. And so he waited until the game was over and I was like standing up to leave and he came over and he was like, Hey, like, I just, I just, I don't want to bug you, but like, I just wanted to say hi. I'm a huge fan of Block Party and like, That's you know, whatever, sick. which was sick, but it was That's also the typical just Block like, Party fan, though, I think. Like, <laughs> right. very, very polite, almost to a fault. Like, they don't want to get blocked. Scared to yeah, talk to people. Yeah, they're like, don't yeah. fuck with me. <laughs> no, but it was very sweet. I, I yeah. don't think I got his name, uh, but if you're listening to the show, thank you for coming and saying hi and being respectful. But it was also yes. just like, you could have easily, because there was no one sitting beside me. Yeah, you could have easily just come over and said hey for a little bit. You yeah. didn't. It didn't have to be. I always say this. I'm like, come over and say hi unless you're awkward, and then leave me alone. Just yeah. say hi and yeah. leave. Yeah. Because, but people know that about themselves too. I feel like it's like if you know that you're kind of socially awkward, don't. We don't need to do a whole thing. Sure. Just yeah. be. Just yeah. be nice, and then it's. And then who cares? And and I'm saying this like I get stopped every minute. It's like not right. like that at all. But it's just like, you know, just if you're if you just want to say hi, that's cool. But you can also come up and just be like, yeah, what up? Yeah, I mean, but it, I think it, the perception of like anything, anytime you enter like a podcast or you're on a movie or a show or stand up is like the their r- romance of what it is may not be what you think it is. Right. Because they have no maybe understanding of how the business may work. So then in their head, they're like, oh, they hang out with real people. <laughs> i think right. for me yeah. it would be like they hang out with people yeah yeah <laughs> see what i mean so that's that's why i'm always I, I just think it's a very cool i love it i honestly love it if i'm being genuine right like, like when people stop and say hi yeah because it's such a, a sweet thing like it's yes, yes. somebody yes. cares 
Yeah. yeah it's, not like it's not like they're attacking you in the street. They're being no, very no. nice to you. And they're saying yeah. they enjoy something you make. It's, it feels it's good. It's different when it's like my, or the, the, my interactions are on a, a, on a smaller scale. But like I can understand if you're being like mobbed or it's, it's hysteria. That's yeah. when I think it's scary. Yeah. When it starts to become hysteria and you yeah. can't control yourself. I don't think John or I have to worry about that. No, I don't have to worry yeah. about that either. <laughs> Absolutely not. We are, we're, we're non hysteria people. Yeah. I love when people dap you up though and they go, hey man, I've seen you work. It's good. And then leave. Yeah. Yes. The very exit. Like they don't want to talk to you. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's what I mean. It's like if you, hey, don't, if you don't really want to talk to me, but you do want to like acknowledge, that's great. Yeah. That's yeah. great. I love that. It doesn't that's, need to be a conversation. That's my favorite. Hey, yeah. man, I got to go. But hey. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I got a fucking, I got a turkey yeah. in the oven. You start to peel away. You go, but I have stories. Yeah. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> that's yeah they they really draw you in with that you're like yeah. oh man you i hey i like i'm in another i, I got a show coming up you you go, gotta, I, i'm lonely yeah somebody <laughs> just by yourself now somebody sees uh, you come back hey come back <laughs> i mean definitely when we did the live shows i will say like stefan is definitely the more popular member of our pod as well like i'm talking like oh you know this guy came up to whatever like Stefan definitely more people were like, oh my God, it's Stefan. Yeah, but it's annoying because I'm the one who's on the spectrum. So it should be the other <laughs> way around. I I don't want I mean, you know, I I'll I'll talk to people and stuff. It's fine. I'm I'm joking around. Yeah, you, you have like slight autism. Well, I, I'm pretty sure I do. <laughs> yeah. Wait, is that wrong? Did I say stuff? No, 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 no. It's no, I don't I don't think good. it's slight, but uh, uh yeah. that's why we were laughing, is because no, you said slight. <laughs> I mean, I think it's like undiagnosed, but it's like uh, my 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 parents joke about it all the time. And like have you I was thought like about just like getting I diagnosed. Should, maybe I just go let's go together like, Stefan. We, let's do it dan yeah wait but a like, minute your parents joke about <laughs> oh yeah yeah i mean they listen to the show they're they're very they're, oh, both they're very, like very our funny. son's autistic doesn't yeah. even know it like yeah. what's the jokes yeah well it's, yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's wild parenting look at him he doesn't know how to do the garbage he's got <laughs> Growing up, they were just heckling you. That's crazy. <laughs> well, I was like, we should probably get you tested. We should figure this out. I think, so yeah, I was like obsessed with trains as a child, like even more so than like a kid would normally be. So I think that's that's sign number one. And then yeah. just like you know, but did I, you do you still love trains? Um, I think I could get in. I, you know what? You know what it is is that I know for a fact if I had the space, I would be a model train guy. 100%. Oh, but do you, do you get excited when you ride the Via Rail? Yes, I do. Okay, because I <laughs> no, I only said it because I yeah. do. Yeah, but I'm no, not a I train guy. Do. I love yeah. a via rail ride. I I definitely do. Um, I, and I hate when people go when I go when I'm with people and they're on the via rail with me and and they're like, I'm like how they're like I don't know about that or they're like oh I couldn't sleep I go I don't care you're on a train <laughs> it's great it's yeah, so I do fun. like yeah. traveling on trains it's yeah like I do I, I do love think it it's a great way to travel yeah I would love to do the Rocky Mountain Express but it's so expensive how much yeah like it, it go I think it goes from Vancouver to Edmonton I think and you go but you go like all through the Rockies and stuff and I think it's five or six days and I want to say it's like four thousand dollars a person what? like Holy it's like shit yeah but it's like a really really nice train and the the, the feature of the train is that the the cars are glass. So like right. the roof, like right. it's all glass. So like you're going through the Rockies and you're like looking out. And it's like, it's got like two floors, right? You're on like the top I floor. Think I think some or... of it, let me, let me look here. Cause I'm pretty Wait. sure I've seen it uh, before. Oh, Rocky Mountain Vancouver. here, I think. Is that what it's yeah, called? Yeah, that's the one yeah. I think. Yeah. There's no like deal. So it's a $4,000 yeah, there's no, there's no deal. There's no. But you deal. can, you can also get like a private room on there, right? Like yes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Okay, like let's. Oh, you choose a year. Okay, you can only book like a year in advance. It's fucked up. Oh man. man. Okay, I don't even know if it's going to tell me the price. Well, can't try try for a year. I Packages. Know. Here we go. Yeah, we should Rocky. do this. We should get a room and record a podcast on the train. Yeah. People are always telling us to get a room, Stefan. I know. Well, we should. Uh, really sounds train. great. Recording yeah. a podcast on a train. I can't it, imagine there'd be any noise on. Yes. Yeah, here you go. This might. is the one I'm talking about. First passage to the West Discovery. So you go. It's eight nights. You go Vancouver, Kamloops, wow. Lake Louise, Banff, Calgary, and it's from. $4,000. What's a cheaper one? There's ones down. Uh, 
Oh, geez. What the fuck is this? 11 nights, $8,000. That Holy one goes shit. Vancouver, Whistler, Quinnell, Jasper, Banff, Lake Louise, Calgary. All reverse. Canadian Rockies, Circle Journey, <laughs> Circle Jerky, uh, <laughs> 6,300. 6, there yeah. is not one deal on this thing. No, I'm telling you, there's no <laughs> fucking deals, dude. Like, this is even a one-night trip from Vancouver to Jasper is $2,000. That's crazy. Holy shit. Yeah, let's see this for this eight-night 4000 It says from 4000 So you know, like, if you want a decent room, it's going to be way more than that. Yeah. God damn. Nine days, eight nights. It's only two days on board the train. So you're the rest is like you're on a fucking bus. Holy shit. What? Yeah. Well, look at so it's like you get two days in Vancouver. I mean, what the yeah. fuck? <laughs> and then you go Vancouver to Kamloops on the train, and then you stay in Kamloops. Then you go Kamloops to Lake Louise on the train. Then you get a day in Lake Louise, and then you have to find your own way from Lake Louise to Banff, which is not, that's like half an hour. Bro, right. you're done. That's it. And then you go Banff to Calgary, and then you're done. Okay, no, I don't want to do this. <laughs> like, that's what I'm saying, though. Like, that's fucked up. That's a lot. Of, that's a fuck, fuck ton of. Oh, well, there you go. Fifty eight ninety nine Canadian. Jesus Christ. Well, I've been watching this. Uh, OK, back to me being on the spectrum. I'm watching a, a four hour, a four <laughs> Sorry, hour let's video focus on what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's focus on. I, the important I've been thing. watching a four hour YouTube video. That's like it like takes down. Remember that Star Wars hotel that w- was around for like one year in Florida? No. And no, it was, I wanted... so it was in Disney World. And the idea was it was like. I, it was it was like a star cruiser so the idea it was like you're on like a fake like space cruise and the idea is it's like super immersive and there's like actors playing like star wars characters and you're Wait, like in the hotel in the hotel well yeah it's like a hotel slash like fake cruise ship um and you're like taking part in this story and you can you can interact with the characters and it's kind of like you know like interactive theater or like a yeah. murder it's sort of like that and the, it sounds she, like a legitimate nightmare. It you need to. I know the video is four hours long. I mean, everyone here needs to watch it. It's yeah. so. It's really like. It's really <laughs> intriguing. On. No, no, Wait. it is because it's such a fiasco. It's such a disaster. Um, it's like. What's it called? I think I it's just it called. Uh, it's by. Let me see here. It's called the. But spectac- you said it, you said it shut down. It shut down after like a year. It's called. Not spe- enough people were going. It's called the spectacular failure of the Star Wars Hotel by Jenny Nicholson. It has like four million views in four days. Uh, again, it's literally four hours long. Like she's been working on this video for so long because she filmed when she went there, and she went there like two years ago, right? Okay. Um, and it's like crazy how bad it was, and the cheapest shit. It's like six thousand dollars U.S. for two oh. nights. Oh my god! Yeah. And it's but like so. What is the the room is supposed to feel like? You're on like an X wing or something. No, shit? it's supposed to feel like you're on like a luxury like space cruiser. Basically, is there a video? This has to be like a not the four hours, but like just what? Oh it yeah, like Dan, there's, there's, you there's, show there's videos out there in the promo video, stuff. Dan, maybe on the, here. The, I'll see um, what I can do. The the bedrooms are tiny. Um, they're not very big, and oh, like so the, so, the bedrooms are like what are they made for Ewoks, dude? I mean, John, they basically <laughs> are. That was, Thank you. That was good. Good Star Wars reference. That's like I know nothing about Star um, Wars. Dude, I, I went to the Star Wars in Disney in Anaheim, the the ride, and I was like, I love this. So, they, are, yeah. you a, are you a Star Wars guy? I mean, I've watched the, the three okay. new ones and obviously the old the old ones, but I'm yeah. not like, I mean, you know, I but I was like, I love the ride. Yeah. So I mean, I, if I. Uh, I could be convinced to do this. Okay, right. right. I think like the rides and stuff are great and everything. And you can see how, if especially if you're a Star Wars fan, that this would be really interesting, right? But the so, the cost was so insane and like prohibitive. Like it was just like it, it was too expensive. And there was just oh, like nothing. Oh, like, so this is what your room looks this like. This is your room. So there's a little bunk. I there, see. So but, it looks yeah. like you're sleeping on, on the, the Star Wars. On the ship. Yeah. That's the idea. Oh, yeah. That's sick. And like, then you're the idea is like you can see why they did it, right? Like you can see how why people would get into this, um, and it's it just apparently it just doesn't work. Like it just because oh, it was well, it's it's closed down now because it was like a huge failure. But it's supposed to be like this big interactive thing, right? And it just like it just did not work at all because half of it was or like two thirds of it is you, you have like an app on your phone, and most of like the interactive games and shit were through the phone. And so like half the games were like, oh, you have to go like scan this QR code or something, right? And so it just was not interactive at all. And 
you couldn't get the missions to work half the time. And, and it was just like not. So you were supposed to be able to like play the, games at the hotel or some shit. Yeah. And like also interact with like there was there's like a cast of like, you know, 10 or so characters that you can like talk with and like receive like quests from basically. And or like they were with. Or- well, it was it was just that there's like an app where you're getting like fake texts from like AI versions of those characters. And it just like didn't work uh at all, apparently. Wow. This looks and again, like hell to me. This looks like hell. Oh, to me. I would I, not stay here. I, I would not. I mean, I would go on like rides and stuff for sure. But yeah, I mean, look, it's a four hour video. It's a lot. It's a big watch. It's something you're going to want to watch over the course of a few days, but it's really, really interesting and really well done. And also extremely funny um, how shitty it ended up being. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm, I would do that for two nights <laughs> right oh, yeah what would maybe, you pay it though if i did yeah you would okay I, I, because it, it i don't know i i i like the interaction i had the minimal one at the ride in anaheim yeah right like it was cool i mean i don't know it looked cool i would try oh, well, i think the the risk was i mean it's it's shut down now but the risk was that like you didn't it was like a 50 50 chance that you would have a really good experience because people did have good experiences yeah or you just would have a horrible experience because they just really it seems like they bit off more than they could chew where like half the people just didn't really have the same immersive experience just because it was kind of impossible with the number of actors they had versus the number of people there. Oh, so it's like, it's like a total gamble. If you're, if you're paying, you know, if you're paying $6,000 for two nights and and it sucks, it's like, because at the end of the video, she basically says she's like, this was probably like an $800 experience, you know? Which is like m- almost more what you would, yeah, yeah. It's a bit more what you would expect. Maybe but you said it was how much for two nights? Six, Six grand. Yeah. Oh my god! And yeah. is that per person or per room? That is, oh, that might be per room. But it no, I, it, I mean that's still crazy. It's still it's still crazy. Yeah. Watch watch the video if you get the chance. It's also I, like probably super expensive to fund that whole thing. Oh, it was. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. another thing too. So I could see the prices. Yeah. But that's still too much. That's too much. Too much. Yeah. What what is like. What is a hotel you would want to stay in? Like if they did a hotel like this, but for oh, that's a whatever question. franchise, what's like a what's oh, one you would Lord want um, uh, Game of Thrones, bro? I'm already in. Yes. yeah, I'm already like in. a castle kind of dude. I know. I mean, no, no, I would stay where Jon Snow is. Come on, dude. King of the North. Come yeah, on. yeah. You almost said Lord of the Rings there. I would definitely yeah. do like a, and I think maybe you can. Well, you can at least go visit it. But the Hobbit, uh, like Hobbiton, where like Uh-oh. the hobbits live. It right. looks so cozy, and I I could fit in there just fine too. But you can't. They don't have like a hobbit hole. You can. They must. In. You know what? They. I'm. I'm like hundred percent sure they do. I don't know if it's the one on the set or not, but I'm sure they have something you can. Dude, you can if stay I was at. able to talk to Jon Snow in this interact, you know what I mean? Like I'd be like, "How's it going?" He goes, "I don't want to fight." <laughs> <laughs> I can't do the accent. Oh, it's good. I've I been mean, fighting. It's too much. I'm like John, <laughs> just have some tea, dude. Let's chill, bro. <laughs> Let's just chill. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think if there's like then, a, then what are they the White Walkers? <laughs> oh, they show up. Yeah, I'm shitting my pants, dude. Yeah, it could be, be good. Sick. Yeah, what about uh, yeah. you, John? Because John doesn't really well, like movies. Yeah, I'm not or... like a fantasy guy, so I'm trying yeah. to think of like I was what's... never a fantasy guy. But this all Thrones. started during um, uh, COVID, and I saw all like Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit, um, right? Uh, what's it called? Why? Why is it uh, Harry Potter? So I yeah. saw all of it. I and think, then you and then you got and then I you became fully, a fantasy I'm guy. I'm fully I, I yeah. I think John would stay at like a varsity blues themed hotel. <laughs> 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 yeah. I don't want your life. <laughs> <laughs> I would What's, is that the one word uh what is he called? Bubba. Not Bubba, he says his name, he's like, you gotta work out. Uh is that the one where he goes, he goes, I don't need to work out, man. I don't need to train. I, no, that's I, Friday Night Lights. Oh, yeah. That one I would stay in, too. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what a varsity yeah. blues hotel looks like. My <laughs> teacher, who's also a stripper, I guess, is there. There's a strip club in the... Varsity Blues is the one with James Vanderbeek and yes. Paul Walker. Yeah. And then John Voight is there. Yeah, is I, there I, like... don't think, I don't think we should stay in there because this is high school. Yeah. That's true. Oh, yeah. yeah, you're staying at a high school. Yeah. <laughs> Friday Night Lights is also yeah. a high is also yeah. a high yeah, school. Yeah, the yeah. Hobbit. Yeah. <laughs> the Hobbit, Game of oh yeah, the Hobbits are like 500 years old. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah. Oh, that's, that's fine. Chill. Yeah, that's yeah. totally fine. 
Yeah. Um, you know, uh, what would I even do? Yeah. I don't know. I could see you doing like a Pixar, some sort of like Pixar thing. Oh yeah. Yeah. You could say in the house from up. Oh yeah. And then it's like actually floating away away or something. I think that could. Yeah. That's for you. I would do that. Yeah. You're right. Cause some sort of cartoony where like there's different rooms and you don't know like which Pixar movie you're going to get. And then I'll get some fucking dog shit like brave. You know, I'll be like, <laughs> I'll be like hoping I get the Toy Story room, but I actually yeah, yeah. get the Brave room. You know, yeah, like, oh, God, dude. Ratatouille. Oh, I'd love the Ratatouille. Oh, yeah. Room. yeah, yeah. Hang out with uh, with Remy and yeah. I haven't seen Ratatouille in a I've long. I, I got to see it again. I, I haven't seen it, it in too long. Dude, you should watch. We should. I saw it again, and it's still. <laughs> You're fun. like, we it's should. Let's movie. just watch it right now. Banger, <laughs> <laughs> bro. Yeah, and Ratatouille is really good for sure. It is. I, I yeah. feel like it's. It might be one of the most underrated Pixar's. I'd say. Wow. Okay. Those were successful. Though. Oh, it was. But I feel like if you're talking about like best Pixar movies, it never gets brought up. Wow. I, you know, I saw recently, I don't even know if it's Pixar. It's the one with the rope, the robot where he's on like a Wally. Wally. That's Pixar. Yeah. That made me cry so much. Oh, Wally. Yeah. Wally's. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It hits you. It does. Okay. It really does. Wally's great. <laughs> Dave is yeah. Dave is getting in his feelings. Probably <laughs> an Oscar. Did they get an Oscar for best uh, robot actor or just best actor? <laughs> Does Wally? I guess would there even be a voice actor? I guess there is. That goes like Wally. I think so. Yeah, but he doesn't yeah. really have a voice, does he? What's no. the what's the what is it? Who's the what's the female robot's name? Uh, I'm I'm looking it up right now. Let's see, Wally and uh, Patty. Uh, Eve, Eve, of course, yes. Eve. Yeah. 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 Yes. yeah, yeah, what a great, yeah, that's a great movie. Do they have, does it say that they have voice actors? I mean, there must have been, but I guess you wouldn't get nominated when you only say like three words. Yeah, it was, it was Ben Burt, who's an, who's credited as an American sound designer, film director, and editor, screenwriter, and voice actor. So, Whoa. so yeah. it's not his bag. They weren't like, uh, let's get, you know, yeah. Yeah. Let's get someone really expensive in here. Let's get Russell Crowe in here to voice Wally. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they're like, let's this guy, this guy could do it. You know? <laughs> anyway, speaking of being in our feelings, let's move on to our social media updates. What a fucking good segue. Now let's move on. It's time to discuss what popped up in your feed. Who are you following? What did you see? Sports or politics, tweets and skis, hot takes on the TL of fast food freaks. It's our social media update. Dave, we always like to start with the guest. What's going on in your social media? Um, like what, what's what's the a- action that's happening? Yeah, what's the action, man? Do you want like I don't have any drama. It's that's all that's fine. Just, it could be oh. something funny you saw, something stupid you saw. It can be like a cat video you saw. That's what mine is like half the time. Oh, so. I watch a, mine's a lot of wrestling. No. Oh, okay. You're all right. Let's go. When the when yeah. the when the stone cold glass breaks and they're like, oh my god. <laughs> I do. I I will get that recommended sometimes too, and I think it's because those. I, I'm not a wrestling fan. Dan is a huge wrestling fan. John likes wrestling as well. But yeah, the, dude, stone, still, yeah. the stone cold stuff. I mean, even for always. me as a, as a non wrestling fan, that's so cool. It, it really always hit. hits. Yeah. And then, um, actually, I saw it uh, uh, on Colbert, or no, is it Colbert? His he posted like I guess these this uh, this Br- uh, British or Irish kid was complaining about the prices of ice cream. I just oh, oh I've yeah. seen that too. Yeah, yeah. yeah that yeah. one was that. That was um, very cute. I didn't yeah. even see that one. Can we? Can you play it, Dan? I saw people tag it, but I never. I never I actually actually how do I find it? this? Uh, it's just like it was a British TikTok, and they were complaining about the prices of oh, ice cream. cream. I found it. Eight-year-old twins rant over ice cream prices in Burnley. <laughs> yeah, we might as well watch it because I I saw it pop up on my feed, and people were saying it was awesome, but I didn't watch it. So this would be a perfect time to just watch it. They are extremely British. I do well. That's great. Yeah, um, it's very I'm going funny. to London in like yeah. a week and a half, so I might as well get used to uh, the, you know the British children. Yeah, there you go. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Love it. Oh, it's muted, Dan. There's an ice cream van there selling just two ice creams with two chewing gums in it. Yeah. For bloody nine pounds for two of them. Nine quid for two? Yeah, nine quid. <laughs> you get no way. One that's in the nice street is either one pound a P or two pounds. Like, you're going to get no way with that. No, you ain't, is that? No, no, you ain't. No. <laughs> and he only does bloody card. Stood there with my cash. 
Bloody hell! That's wild bad, isn't it? Bloody wild bad! Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's that last part so you can hear me yeah oh, i was like it's smoke that you want like you just yeah. want the beef you're like yo yo yeah yeah that's, that's so funny. you're gonna get nowhere with that it's I, so it funny really that good. it's so funny that a child talks like that that's so crazy you want me to, to fix me. your headphones dave oh, and then there's those you ever see those like i mean you guys have seen them the memes where um they're not about they use like images and it's and the captions are about obviously i'm just explaining memes now. <laughs> <laughs> very 43 year old yeah, very you guys know when they do a meme know? and it's yeah. like a picture with words yeah, on it yeah, that's i guess that's what all of those like you know when they're like oh this is what the boy i don't know i don't know what yeah i'm yeah <laughs> well, well, what meme were you going to talk about? I mean, they're all like, it, it, I'm basically just explain memes. <laughs> like, it wasn't <laughs> anything specific with how old I am. But there's a, uh, I can't remember his handle, but he did this. Uh, he does these, he uses like sound. Uh, it was like when your boy uh, is broken up with a girl or something, and he was doing the, uh, is, was it a genuine song? But he starts off like normal, and it's like he's playing three characters. Or he, this one he's playing too, but it keeps cutting back to his boy who originally has composure. But as the song keeps going, he breaks and he's singing the song too much. And <laughs> he cuts back to him and he's like looking. He's like, why are you like, he's like, I can't remember the song. I wish I knew the handle. I realized, <laughs> I realized halfway through describing this, <laughs> you guys are like, what the fuck? <laughs> This is an old man who, who like, if I left and came back on the internet now, this is how I would describe this to my other old friend. They're like, dude, memes? Did you describe memes? I, yeah, I went like a I computer just... loads. <laughs> so he turned on the laptop. Yeah, yeah, then the thing was buff the sp- buffering. <laughs> I'm just imagining you talking to another old guy and, and but and both of you are describing something like that and neither one of you knows what the other guy's talking and he's like oh yeah it's like this other one i saw and there was this dog and then and the guy was doing and there was a song with the dog yeah and then the dog did and the dog ran so you know so the dog did the and and i'm just imagining you two for like 10 minutes just well, i'll tell you my this my distrust for the internet is like i want to change my do something with my phone and the guy's like did you upload to the cloud i go what i was like where where like i just was like i don't trust he goes it's in the cloud i go yeah but where <laughs> <laughs> like i i need it to be in front of you me. needed That's a location whole, you're yeah, like what's I'm the location the of the cloud to, i'm a, what do you mean the cloud like i just and my boy was like he was like i think he's in his late 20s or mid 20s he was like yo he had to come in like like a like a like hey i gotta stop this old guy from fighting <laughs> apple store he was like hey he goes i'll show you like you know someone comes in, I'll right show yeah you. i'll take it yeah, yeah. yeah i'll show me then show me i'll trust the cloud man <laughs> just uh, i have to find this video for you I'm, now i'm annoyed that i don't know this video. i'll see if i sent it to someone okay yeah and then i mean yeah well i would love to see it yeah you said it's a genuine song it, it, you think? Oh, I you think. actually didn't know that. Now that I'm no, I didn't know that. <laughs> okay, well, while you look for that, Stefan, what's going on on your social media? Well, this is a a really insane post from Elon Musk. Oh, uh, you don't say that he deleted is how crazy it was. I think Ooh. even he realized it made him look like a total psycho. Um, okay, that's that's it feels like another level. This is from three days ago. Uh, I sent it to Dan. I think he's got it right here. Uh, and this is a real post. Post your family pics on X. We care and do more to fight child exploitation than any other platform by far. Just a really strange, unnerving post to be like, post pics of your kids on here. Because it's safe. It's safe to post pics of your kids on here. It definitely is not safe on there. No, absolutely not. You'd post a picture of of your kid and then there'd be like five pictures of pussies underneath it. Yes. And (laughs) I mean, not only there's much, much worse, horrible stuff, obviously, being posted on there. Um, Just a very, I mean, I I check in on him, not voluntarily, but I'll see people on like Blue Sky posting about it. Um, And someone posted that with uh, the picture of... uh, the the uh, Bart Simpson and it's the quote where he's like, "What an odd thing to say." 
<laughs> well, it's, it's it's very much the like uh, the human trafficking the, the shirt. Mike in, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, tweet of it just really like, is like well, okay, why? Do, like it's just really sort of suspicious that you want everyone to post pictures of. Um, it's it's basically it's, like it, it's it's the real life equivalent of going up to someone or saying to a friend like you can show me pictures of your kids like it's, yeah, it's totally okay to fine that. like yeah. I don't yeah I'm not gonna do anything with them or like yeah, think like, well about I didn't them or think like, you were yeah exactly yeah, yeah exactly yeah. exactly yeah. post pictures of your kids on here it's safe to do it you should do it like and so for even him to realize like oh I should delete this is so funny to me. Um, because he's like, you know, obviously like a total psycho. So like, it's just, oh man, uh, it's good to check in on him once in a while and, and see how he's doing. And obviously he's getting crazier and crazier as the, as the days go on. But that is so, um, because especially cause you're like, is he, is he like K holing when he thinks of this or 100%. like what is happening where you're just like, yeah, what, what to me, I'm just thinking like, what is the thought process where you're like, where you have the that seed of a thought in your mind yeah. and then you're like yes that is something i should tweet well i think legitimately sure. it's that no one ever says no to him right? right and so obviously that's partially why he bought twitter um because he wanted to get rid of a lot of his critics on there but he doesn't have a filter and he doesn't have anyone saying like that's a bad idea to post that because he just has right. his phone so he's just posting it and he's so up his own ass it's just i mean it's great because it it's it has shown like what a, a total psycho he is irene was driving the other day and saw a tesla and on there's a bumper sticker underneath the license plate that said fuck elon musk and it's like okay well i mean presumably you, you bought the tesla before you knew he was like a total psycho obviously but <laughs> it's still like what are you doing that's crazy um, yeah uh john i'm very excited for your social media update here because you have a yes good let's clip for uh us. Yeah, so this was just it just popped up on the timeline, and look, you know, I think we all can agree, Shaq, uh, one of the all time great talkers, uh, you know, just just knows how to knows how to talk uh, about anything. But particularly, just look how about, cool he looks here, by the he way. He looks so cool. Yeah, and Shaq is pretty old at this point. He's got to be what mid fifties, like I, he's, I would imagine. Yeah, early, you know, early to mid fifties, probably. And he looks cool as fuck. He's wearing yeah. these like wild red pattern pants. He's wearing his own merch uh, t shirt, and then he's got some very cool sunglasses on. Yeah, just a very cool guy, Shaq. And uh, I love when people do this to Shaq. It doesn't happen very often, but Draymond Green is is maybe just stupid enough uh, <laughs> to do to say this. But he Draymond Green basically, and this is on Shaq's own podcast, by the way, the Big Pod with Shaq. Uh, he has Draymond on, and Draymond is basically arguing that uh, his, his like championship version of the Warriors, you know, yeah. their Warriors dynasty would have beaten Shaq's Lakers dynasty and in particular would have shut down Shaq, okay. uh, which is very funny. The whole Shaq's response is the whole way through are fantastic. And then the final little bit is really the icing on the cake, but it's all good. Uh, so yeah, this is Shaq and Draymond talking ball. Shaq's Lakers get you a Golden State Warriors. Any of my championship team, any of your championship team, who wins? And the bonus question, who Guard me. Please don't say Andrew Bogut. I don't think any one player on our team could have guarded you. I do think there were defensive schemes that we could have thrown at you to af to affect you. One is not let you get the ball. So <laughs> Shaq is just taking his sunglasses <laughs> off. The guy behind you. They did that. Yeah, yeah they, they, I wasn't on the court, though. All right, so what you going to do, stand behind me? I'm standing in the front. Ain't no ball getting to you. What you mean the ball don't get to me? I'm not. Six feet. But you ain't seven feet. I got seven, four, <laughs> seven, three wings, man. And I got nine, four wings, man. <laughs> you can't get the ball through me. Andrew Bogus behind. Stop. I'm in the front. Stop You're it. leaving somebody over there to shoot because you couldn't shoot. But however, Bogus going to be in foul trouble. Now, who your backup center? Me. Draymond, stop. <laughs> Draymond. Shaq, I don't think I could have guarded you. I'm not saying that. However, you would have had to bring your big. How did that drop? Man, if you stay back there, I'm going to nail whoever guarding Steph. I'm going to nail whoever guard Clay, and we're going to dot your eye every play. Okay, but you know what's going to happen after that? I'm going to tell D-Fish, get up on him, let him drive, and I'm going to lay his little up. Hey, then we got to fight. All right, what you got to fight, then? And guess what? You getting thrown out the game and me getting thrown out the game, who's that going to hurt worse? Your right. team. And then y'all lose. So I guess we're not going to fight, then. <laughs> <laughs> who's guarding Kobe? Clay. 
<laughs> Bro, he wasn't having any of that. No, no. none of that. Oh, none of, and I, I did like that Shaq <laughs> asks the question, probably knowing what Draymond is going to answer, but hates yeah. every answer that Draymond it's gives. So good. And just like what we know now about Andrew Bogut, I love the disrespect that Shaq yeah. is like, don't tell me it's fucking a- Andrew motherfucking Bogut that's guarding <laughs> me. Give me a rest. Uh, but yeah, the look, who's guarding Kobe? Clay. And then Shaq just looks at him like, you. That's really good. You, I got to start, I gotta start l- listening or watching to his show because that was, that was very good. Very good exchange. Yeah. I mean, Jeff Teague, still the best uh, oh, he athlete. had a really, really good one lately too yeah. that I saw. Oh, what was it? He is so fucking funny. It's He's crazy so funny. How funny. It was he something is. on Instagram, and it, it just it really caught my eye. It was very, very funny. I don't yeah. think I can remember. Dave, I, how's, I your, really, how's your meme search going? You've been deep in your phone <laughs> for the last like ten minutes, dude. I can't. I, it's like annoying. <laughs> it's really annoying, dude. I, I dropped the ball. I it, and it makes me laugh. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. I'm trying to remember who I because it was when I was going through a breakup. So I just thought it was funny <laughs> the way he did it. <laughs> I believe, like, I believe you, Dave. It's not that I don't oh, believe did you. I send I it just... to so and so. It's like one last, one last <laughs> job. Oh yes. Okay. This is it, Dan. You got you got to play it. He talks about winning the championship with the Bucks and. uh and how it was like it sucked because it was like so boring that they won. That was the post I was thinking of. And it was really great. I just dropped it in the Discord. But he, he was just he, like he is genuinely, it's like crazy how funny he is. And so he, much of it is that he shit talks himself the entire time. Yes, totally. Totally. But yeah, he just like basically is a whole and it just kind of gives you insight into like some professional athletes, right? Where he's just like, well, winning the championship didn't matter because the after party sucked shit. Uh, but yeah, here we go. This is uh, huh. Jeff uh, Jeff Teague talking about winning the championship with the Bucks. What's going on in Milwaukee? What's Bro, you- I just said I ain't care that we won. <laughs> like we won a chip, I ain't care, bro. Our Raptor party was trash, bro. <laughs> I had better times at Louisville, bro. <laughs> Every championship team I know, they gas up the jet and they well, go. Up. This one. You know me, PJ jet. Tucker, Bobby Porters, we like, yo, let's go to Vegas, y'all. Or this party, it ain't no party in Milwaukee. It was probably like 20 people in the little venue we was at. It wasn't nothing going on. So we asked Giannis, you want to go to Vegas? He said, now nah, I'm going to celebrate with my family. And once Giannis said it's over, it's over. <laughs> truck. And I drove back home to Indianapolis. So I can hang out with my friends, bro. I said, championship, why are you at home? <laughs> Playing the game. Lame ass. <laughs> 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 Load up. <laughs> With the squad ring. <laughs> you want a chip and drove home. I swear to God. <laughs> He's so I funny, I love that. Man. You telling me you want a chip and you drove home? <laughs> God, dude. Is it because they're in Milwaukee and nothing happens? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then he, he there, kind of the suggestion was that, like, you know, other teams will will take the team's private jet somewhere or whatever. And the Milwaukee Bucks, like Giannis was like, I'm not doing that. That's not happening. Oh, with like to go to another place. Yeah, to go to Vegas yeah. or whatever. And Giannis is yeah. like, no, I'm just going to celebrate with my family. And then he's like, okay, well, if Giannis says the party's over, then it's over. It's like when we had Kyle Wellwood on Real Good Show. Yeah, the and Matt Sundin his, thing. He said that his best memory of being on the Leafs was being there for Matt Sundin's 500th goal. And I said, oh, like, just because, you know, it's fun to be a part of, like, a legendary moment. And he's like, no, because Matt's never came out and partied with us. And I knew the night he scored 500, he would come out and party and pay. And <laughs> so it was very exciting for us. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, very oh, good. That's uh, really good. Anyway, speaking of partying, let's move on to our block tale. What did you tweet? You brought receipts, Blocktail, woo! No longer can see the post, it's a Blocktail, woo! You probably deserved it, it's a Blocktail. All right, Dave, we've given up on the meme. Okay, I have one more shot, but I'll try it later. Go ahead. Okay, well, this is the, the floor is yours. You got to tell us about a time you got blocked. Oh, um... Long wait, did she actually block me? It was two breakups. Did she block me? <laughs> yeah, she's blocked me multiple times. The first one, but on and off, I get blocked. Like, I think we block each other and then we'll like re 
Kindle or whatever. But yeah, now we're not blocked. We're like, but oh. she doesn't follow me. <laughs> okay, so this is an ex of yours. One of them. Yeah. Okay, one of your exes. And so, like, what was the like? What happened? The was it like the relationship ended immediate block? Well, it wasn't did- a real like. No, it was a real relationship, but we known each other s- since oh man 2016 or something okay maybe 15 and we would i didn't we didn't live in the same city so when we were both like single or something we would like connect if i was in the city and then like i think it was during covid i was like oh i want to i want you to be my girlfriend and then it just it did it didn't work out and then i think that's where the blocking right started after that but the second block was my last relationship was like two years ago i didn't know i was blocked because i was just like not like I tried not looking as much. Yeah. And then I got a text from her saying, Hey, I, I blocked you because like it was just hard to see. And I and I was fine with that. I was yeah. like, however you want to heal. Yeah. And then um then I think a year later, because I had blocked her some and then she had texted me. She said, did you block me? And I was <laughs> like, like, you blocked me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was like that kind of like, oh, I just needed space. I thought we were going to like, you know, for time for both of us to heal. Yeah. But I'm still blocked. We're blocked each other now. So we're both blo- blocked. Right. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. But the, but the and first on phone, I blocked her. On oh, phone. wow. Oh, wow. So okay. Like, yeah. We're in block off. world. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Yeah. But the first one you're saying you kind of went through phases where like you would it be like you would know that she was maybe wanting a little something if she unblocked you. Know, you're like, the, I could see the yeah. unblocking and you're like, oh, shit. She was one of those g- girls where uh, um, I thought Dan was going to go sleep, but <laughs> <laughs> what I was thinking, I was like, did I lose this guy? That's my whole goal is like, I want to I want to. Um, keep this keep this man entertained yeah uh the no this one because it's one of those relation people that you connect with where you're like oh i can i I don't know if they came back into your life you would reconnect right right but i know i shouldn't (laughs) right okay okay. right (laughs) right Right. it was like uh yeah but i mean now i'm just sitting in that thing where she doesn't follow me but she won't answer me at all anymore right but you follow (laughs) her yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> well, let me see. Yeah. Let me see. I follow. Let me see. 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 Follow shorty. Okay. 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 But yeah, right. I, I I would message her and then um nothing. Like I think I even messaged her on Facebook. In oh that's wow, like, that's yeah. That's not. That's not cool. I guess or oh wait. <laughs> Sometimes Facebook is a new. You know, it's like a new frontier, yeah. <laughs> but an old frontier. But you're like oh. <laughs> Oh yeah. So look. Oh, so it's just sitting on request. Yeah. Oh, did I just show? Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you didn't. It show. won't be. It won't be. Uh, it won't okay, show. Okay, it won't yeah. Show. yeah, it's just requested. So. Oh wow. So she's kind of like leaving you on red almost. Yeah, there. man, that hurt. And that hurts. I know we're not. You know, she, she's definitely probably moved on, and who knows? I have a family. I have no idea. <laughs> uh, it hurts. Yeah. It hurt. Even yeah. though we're not, we're it'd probably be no good to to reconnect in it in right. any sense, but it hurts. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Not I think like I'm like just... crying anymore, but no, I've no, no. cried over her. I've cried yeah, over yeah. everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a crier. Hey, yeah. You're you're speaking to the choir here. The, the crier choir is yeah. uh, is right here. But hey, speak yeah. for yourselves. <laughs> Dan Dan cry, Dan? Dan's smoking inside, which I know, uh, which is pretty badass. I feel that's early 2000s. Oh my god, Dan! I don't do this often, but I just really needed a fucking cigarette. I'm sorry. Oh. Nah, dude, it looks, I'm, it I'm, does look really cool. Dude, I'm cool. I'm an active. <laughs> to whatever you <laughs> <laughs> Dave is a Dan actor. Yeah, as long as you don't fall asleep or think this shit is whack. That's no, the this whole episode's goal. been great. Yeah, we're good. That's, don't worry. That's the whole goal out of this is that not bombing in front of Dan. This is what I'm right. gonna hold as a credit. Oh yeah, dude. I'm like, yeah. I am because we definitely asleep. have guests that bomb for Dan. Yeah, and I'll let them know. Yeah, <laughs> not for the not for the show. Dan, you've, like, let the you've let no, them know, like the cut. You've let no, but you can just I can just tell. I can tell when Dan's like, I don't. This episode doesn't have the juice. <laughs> yeah, it's usually women. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Dan. Dan just went. <laughs> Dan lit the cigarette and goes, "Let's just get cooking." <laughs> you know, Cat Williams said it. He started the year off. Let me yeah. know. Dan goes, I'll take the beer. I'll take it. I'll, I'll take, take the bait, baby. Beer, 
I'll take it. I'll take that. Yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, I think we've all been. I there, shouldn't though. have laughed at it. Laughed at that as well. I, I shouldn't I, have said it. Probably. Yeah. But I was joking. <laughs> to be clear, I'm totally joking. He's joking, and I'm and he he's joking, and I laughed at thinking it was a joke. A joke. Yes. Yeah, yes. Nobody exactly. here wants to get canceled. Oh, definitely not. No. No. no we don't. We I don't do make enough money to get canceled. <laughs> we, honestly, though, if we did get canceled, that could be our path to making more money. You can make more money. That we got. Yeah. We got canceled. Yeah. Go right wing. Yeah. Yeah, and I love. I love. You know, I, I have a mother and a sister. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <My grandmother. laughs> I will. I do love that as a defense, though. I love when guys are just like I. That's a crazy defense. I couldn't well, possibly because I have a mother. I'm yeah, like, well, guess what? We all fucking have a mother, dude. How do you think we got it? Yeah. Uh, that was, you know, it's a wild defense. I have a mother. Yeah, I have two. I have a daughter. I have a mother and a wife and a daughter, and they're all women. And so, therefore, you're like, holy fuck! Yeah, it's crazy. I I would say I've been down that road though, Dave. Maybe not with like the blocking necessarily, but when you go, when when you when you you know you peep the Instagram and you're like, I shouldn't even be. I yeah, shouldn't yeah. Even be. I shouldn't even be looking at it. No, you I shouldn't even be looking. It's bad. But even muting doesn't really like help because you know because you, you can still search you can and still you just search. go yeah i think yeah. the block is i mean i those are i'm trying to remember those are two that i've no that's i mean that's great i mean we've had those kind of stories on the on the show before i feel like it's a it's a kind of a way you know i don't I mean, stefan maybe not i feel like stefan is very stefan's very even keel when it comes to relationships i feel like stefan's not right. yeah. stefan's not on the it's not on the social media you know crying or losing his mind no, I mean, I Stephen's don't, not. You don't really cry, do you? Are you a cry? You don't cry really. No, I just kind of. Uh, Billy cries when he's having sex. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Damn. Damn. Oh, Damn. that cigarette Damn. went yeah. right to your yeah. head. Right Dan. To your oh my god! Yeah. Dan turned into Andrew Dice Clay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, with the cigarettes. <laughs> hey, hey! Can you hey. smoke it like Andrew Dice Clay? Like how he, he does, like the cool way of smoking. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I could do that. I'll light up another one. Okay, let's see. <laughs> light up another one. Oh. Andrew Dice Clay. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, three. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so you oh, got to hold it very. Uh, yeah. yeah, there we go. Like yeah, a fucking good. idiot. Yeah, yeah, I mean, pretty much. Yeah. Hey, he doesn't. Hey, went to his. Uh, went to a funeral. He's not crying. <laughs> but then he gets home, goes to pork his wife. He's fucking crying like a fountain. <laughs> Looks like the fucking Bellagio. <laughs> fucking crying like a like a fucking little bitch. <laughs> All right, I'm putting this out. It stinks in here. <laughs> oh boy, Stefan. When was the last time you cried? Do you think? God, I don't know. Probably watching like a movie or something. Honestly. Oh really? You like a movie? I'll, I'll, you. I'll cry watching movies for sure. Oh yeah, do that too. I think I yeah. cried last week. Did you? I can just cry of thoughts. I can cry of thought. Like if I have a thought, I go, oh, yeah, it's coming and I'll start crying. Right. Yeah, uh, but so that's, that's nice. Though. That's yeah, you're in touch. Yeah. That's good. Like what, like what's a thought that would make you cry? Like if you're just. Probably like a sad. Yeah. Anything that's sad really. Right. Doesn't, it doesn't yeah. like, I mean, I've cried. Have I cried after sex? No, I don't think maybe. I don't know. But yeah. <laughs> I, that, I, I, yeah. I'm, I'll wait for that day. Yeah. I don't think I've ever cried during or after. I've I've no. told a story like an anxiety story. Like, you know, I've 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 I didn't last long and I tried to tie it into uh childhood trauma. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to try that one. <laughs> and the person seemed to be like, you know, open to conversation. <laughs> so it was like, I felt like it gave me, buy me more time like, right, to have to to, sex again. Yeah, know? right. You're like, if I, yeah. I could recover if I, uh, if I dip into this. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Was this the first time you, you were having sex with them? No, no. no they, okay. knew me for, they, know, they knew me well. Okay. They okay. Well. Okay. Yeah. So you're just like, oh, you you know you know what's going on with me. Yeah, and they were like, they loved when I if I got like like anxious or worked up, so it was like very entertaining. <laughs> that is wow, that's really good stuff. Yeah. Uh, okay, well we have a great listener block as well. This one comes in from Alex, <clears throat> and actually, Dave, this is kind of a not like an old guy. And I mean, I'm basically the same age as you, yeah. but like it's an older internet story, which I think is really nice. Uh, the subject is I blocked my teacher from ever contacting my parents. Okay. So pardon me. This is a virtual slash real life tale of me blocking someone, which I thought John, who I assume is the only one who ever reads this, 
That's correct. Would have something to say about as a former teacher. In grade nine, I was kind of a middling student and I had a class I didn't enjoy with a teacher I didn't like. But to be fair, she was widely agreed to be a mean disciplinarian and also said some obviously non-borderline racist things. So I think she deserved this. At some point, she told me she was going to call my parents that night about not submitting an assignment on time or something. This was in 2001 and we had dial up internet so you couldn't receive calls while someone in the house was online. So, armed with the knowledge that my teacher intended to call my home number, that night I went onto the internet and stayed there for several hours. We also had a program installed at home that showed you when someone was trying to call your landline while you were on the internet, and I saw the same number pop up five to six times, which I assumed was her. Eventually, she stopped trying and I logged off. The next day, she confronted me and said she tried to call my house and couldn't get through all night. I shrugged my shoulders and I said, I didn't know what the issue was. And she never tried again. <laughs> that's, that's genius. Yeah, that's really, really good. good. That yeah, I love that. Did you guys ever do that? Did you guys ever do like a tie up the phone line on purpose internet type thing? I mean, Stefan, maybe you're a little too young for that. I mean, I definitely, we definitely had like dial up. I remember that, but I never, I never had to do that at any point. Was what that do you tie up the phone? Well, because sometimes like in the bat in the old days, your modem would run through your phone line. Yeah. And if you didn't get a separate phone line for your modem, then people couldn't call you while you were on the internet. So you'd pick up the phone and it would have that horrible noise. It'd have like noise. a busy signal oh. to someone trying to call you. But if someone picked up the phone in your house, it would do that like me I can't remember. I can't remember. Right. I'm also not good with technology. So I do know that about yeah. you. <laughs> yes. I I always am anytime like you were staying at my house or I had to like, you know, or even contacting you to do this show. I'm, I'm always like, I don't know if I know the right way to get a hold of yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. You should send a bird. <laughs> yeah. I feel you like a bird, a bird would, gets it done. I would get it. I would get the bird. I feel like I, I, I feel like flourish is that in not even the right word, but I did my thing during the pager era. Okay. okay. I love I love stopping the car, getting out, and walking to a payphone like I was like part of a like the mob or some game. right. Yeah, like I would just like I I don't know I just would I love looking. Not that that's who was only using, <laughs> but it's like I just love the idea that like um I I was like this call means because you know what I mean to get out of your car and answer a pager had to mean something. I feel yes. Like you oh yeah. More like. Yeah, you're like okay, and I thought there was more meaning back then. Now you're like, well, I don't have to pick up. I don't have to. Oh, pay. definitely not. The do not disturb drives me nuts, dude. Oh, you don't Once like when I, you can see do like so and so has notification silence. And if I, if I if you do not disturb on phone, but you're still on the internet, you're a you're a demon. You are a demon. <laughs> you are a demon, and that drives me wild, bro. So you're telling me you don't want to talk to people through text, but you're out here looking at memes and TikToks. Fuck out of here. Yeah, I agree. I'm done, yeah. Dan. Yeah. I'm done, I tell you. <laughs> and if we go back to birds, I'll be so happy. <laughs> I did, I think I've talked about this on the pod before that I won a pager in a curling tournament. You uh, have that, I think. When yeah. I, I was like 16 and I won a pager in a curling tournament, I was like, this is so sick. I have a pager. And then I realized very quickly that absolutely no one calls me or needs to reach me in a like we got to page him. We he's, he's got to get this. Page. Yeah, imagine though. So I just had a pager because I think I got a year of free service with the pager when I won it, and it was just like I just had this pager in my backpack or on my belt, but like no one. I, I don't think anyone ever called it. Not but once. Dude, back then, remember when you got? I mean, for me and you, it's like you got you that girl you were talking to, and she paged you for the first time. Oh yeah, the whole team celebrated. <laughs> yeah everybody on your on your squad your crew was like you're like i got it yeah the page goes <laughs> off and you're like holding it up and the numbers are scrolling yeah. slowly and you're like oh, oh yeah that didn't happen to me but um I'm i mean it didn't happen, happen to me to often no didn't but happen, i mean yeah. i mean it might have happened to me you once. were a little older than like i was still too young where it wasn't like oh, in yeah, high school yeah. girls yeah. weren't trying to bang my line you know I mean, nobody was me. trying to do anything with me i'll tell you that i had warts in my eyes. I don't know you're trying to holler at me. I had buck teeth. Come on, dude. I had braces. I, I, I had braces that weren't invisible. You oh. know, talk to somebody who has braces now. They're like, you can't see them. I go, I, they saw them. Yeah, you had yeah. The, the metal braces. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Stefan, you probably had those too. No, no. No, I did not. Oh, you grew up in the Invisalign era? I did, or you just yeah. never had braces? Yeah, oh. no, I had Invisalign. Yeah. Look at you, you yeah. motherfucker. I got to get braces and I'm not happy about it. 
Not Invisal- really. Inv- Invisalign's not too bad. Yeah, yeah. it's not even, dude. Break- but they're telling me I'm going to need them for 18 months. Yeah, it's nothing my, if they're invisible. Bro. It's not. It's honestly not bad. It's yeah. honestly not bad. The metal ones, I had to. I had to dial them up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you want to send us a bird or an email with your own listener block, you can do so at blocked at blockparty You can also follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at blockpartypod. You can follow us on Blue Sky at blockparty. And if you want to see the video of this episode, just go to youtubecom slash at blockparty. If you want to donate to the show, patreoncom slash blockparty. $5 a month gets you access to three bonus episodes every single month. This episode is coming out like two and a half weeks from the time we're recording it. So I don't even know what bonuses are happening, but it's lots of good ones. So check it out. I know we're doing a word up soon. Maybe that's out. Maybe it's not. I don't know. But just head over to Patreon. Lots of cool stuff over there. Ad free episodes, merch discounts, etc. cetera. Uh, and uh, yeah, if you like the show, of course, tell a friend. Uh, we are here at the end of the show, Dave. And that means it's time for the top three. Three, two, one. Trois. Uno, 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 mustard. Three. Sauce. Two. Girlfriend. Uno, 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 uno. You got so panicked when I said top three because you don't, you, you don't know what we're doing, do you? No, I do. Oh, you I do. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So yeah, what is it? What is your top three? It has to be like this is what I don't understand. Like top, like actual. So my was. So you just pick a topic and then we oh, all say what our top three of that thing is. This is t- probably tough. It's like first it was the top three, um, probably places you get coffee that's not like traditional. Like I'm talking gas station, laundry mat. Okay. Like okay. Where my top threes would. I like be. it. Okay. Yeah. So you're yeah. going to tell us your number three first. What's like I don't have all the threes. Yeah, you say what your number three is. Your number three top place to get yeah. a coffee. Then that's, I'll say my number three. Then John will say his. Then you'll do your number two. Oh, we go, we'll go around. Yeah. Should I only three? I mean, gas Seven Eleven is not considered a gas station. That's, that's different. I think that's a convenience store. I would I would count that as separate from a gas station. Okay, can I put the convenience store like yeah. not traditional? I'm saying probably not traditional coffee places. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, so I would say, bro, Seven Eleven racks on. Is that, no, that's not three. No, just give us your three, number three. So just oh, one. Oh, it's this yeah. gas. <laughs> it's this gas station by my place in LA, but it's trash. <laughs> Just the worst. <laughs> it topic. shouldn't be top three, but I just don't have. Uh, <laughs> no, that's fine. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, 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 that's good. Okay. What uh, is I think it's, like- I don't know. I, I don't know if I liked it. I gave it to my friend to try, and he goes, "This is bad," and handed it back to me. But I never had that thought of it being that bad. Right. Some, sometimes bad yeah. coffee is kind of weirdly good, though. I yeah. don't know what it is. Right. It, yeah. It it hits a little different, I think. Exactly. Um, is it like an off-brand gas station? Like it's kind of like an independent gas station, or is it like a? It might be a main. I'll check. Is I never. Yeah. It's so oddly, I never looked at the. I might have looked at the sign once, and then just never looked <laughs> right, at it again. Right, right, right. You okay. Know, so yeah, I love that. All right. So uh, your local gas station number three, Stefan. Your number three. I'll say uh, this is not like a place you go to buy coffee, but like I feel like it's it's nice after like a, a family dinner. We'll we'll have some coffee after a nice family dinner. You've been you and Dan have both been over for family dinners, mm-hmm. and my dad will put on the big pot of coffee. And it's nice to kind of sit around and have some coffee there. And they usually have pretty good coffee too. I'm not right. paying for it, of course, but I'll say, I'll say at a family dinner, nice okay. coffee. Okay. Uh, this is a tough top three for me. I hate coffee. You do. Uh, well, so, what's your, what's your equivalent, I guess. What is my equivalent to coffee? Um, like, do you want to even do like iced coffees or like anything? No, which is wild, but go ahead. Yeah, I know. I know. Tell me about coffee. it. It's crazy. It's I, yeah. Fucking grow up. Thank you. These guys that Thank go, you. These, guys, these guys, just people when they're like, I don't do coffee. I go, oh, what do you want, a metal? Yes. You just fucking <laughs> well, wake up well, well fucking balanced every morning. <laughs> I fucking yes. need coffee in the morning. Yes, or I, I, I cannot do, do anything. Because I am I do my stream at 8 a.m. too. So like I'll, I'll wake up and I'll stream for a couple hours and it's like, yeah, I. Because you're a normal fucking person. This Thank guy, you. You, because you get eight hours of sleep and you meditated the night before. <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> Did I say I wanted a metal day? I don't. I wasn't like fuck you. Oh, you need your little fucking drink yeah, when you into, wake up. I turned into Bill Burr. There I was like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Get your middle. Okay. Okay. Let me. Uh, let me say. Yeah. I, I like. I genuinely don't know what an equivalent to this would be. Uh, but uh, you know, let's say like. <laughs> I, I don't even what's an equivalent to like coffee like stopping to get a coffee like i don't really i guess you a tea, but i don't even do that really yeah 
Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's kombucha, I guess, but the, you're you're not stopping not, somewhere for it. We're yeah. stopping somewhere for that. Like a soda? Yeah. Okay. Like off-brand places to get a soda? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Uh, number three, I will go uh, hockey rink snack bar. Ooh. Love a good... Love... Used to, when I was a kid, that used to be the big thing is like, if I played well, my dad would buy me a pop and chips. Oh. After the after the hockey game, so okay. then this that would be like a big like that's how I knew I played good because I would come out and he'd be waiting with those, and if I played bad, I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Classic hockey dad. Wow, uh, Mitch Marner's yeah. dad here. Totally, and I had to carry my own bag to the car. If oh I played God. good, he would carry my bag after the game, and if I didn't, then he didn't buy me anything, and I had to carry my own hockey bag Damn. to the car. But it all paid off in the end. Yeah, I'm in the NHL, so <laughs> it, worked, it worked out well. I've made millions <laughs> as a professional hockey player. Uh, Dave, you're number two off the beaten path place to get coffee. Oh, it's the, um, 7-Eleven, then it would be. Okay. Yeah. 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 Do they, okay, does 7-Eleven have good coffee? I think so. Yeah. It's not, it's not horrible necessarily. Yeah, it's not like you're, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And they have it's, different, they have like flavors and stuff too, yeah. if you want. And like, they have the 7-Eleven exclusive. Nobody knows what it is. I just feel <laughs> yeah. like you have a DJ buy it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like it's a, like certain 7-Elevens have it and certain ones No, don't. I think it's all 7-Elevens oh, okay. have a yeah. brand that's called 7-Eleven exclusive. Oh, okay. Yeah. Got it. Got yeah. it. And are you, how many coffees a day do you drink, Dave? Three or four. Three, or three four. for sure. Three yeah. for sure. Two, definitely. I do two in the morning and then I'll, I'll do an afternoon one occasionally. This is my guy. He gets yeah. it. Yeah. 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 No, I, I, Stefan's a big coffee head. I just, yeah. I was, you know, I feel like if you're, if you're someone who just, you know, I drink one coffee in the morning, then this is kind of a boring top three because you just would have it at home. But I feel like if you're sort of no, coffee's always, the part of my day, I'm out and about, yeah, I'm getting it at weird all places. the time. The vibe. I'll have it at nine at night, and people are like, "How do you go to sleep?" I go like a human. <laughs> I just <laughs> close like my eyes. A human. How, yeah. People look at you. Sorry, Stephen. They look at you and they go, "At nine o'clock, how are you going to survive?" I go, "It's not rocket science. I'll pass out. <laughs> I'm 43. The day has ruined me already and tired me out." <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah no i get i get it totally Stefan, what's your number two i'm gonna say at the movies kind of nice at the oh, movies sometimes yeah had that. that yeah i've done fucked up i've done that before obviously i'm doing if i'm doing that it's because i'm not getting popcorn because like popcorn yeah. plus coffee is like an insane combo no, that's, that's yeah that's a wild thing you yeah. know a and w should get honorable mention as well at this point oh yeah they're, i heard their coffee their their coffee's decent it's not yeah. bad yeah they changed it yeah. I have to revisit it, but I, I remember having it. I, I was a little disappointed because I heard it wasn't that bad, but let me try it again. Try it again. Yeah. Yeah. Give it a go. Yeah. I'm going to say the movies. The I mean, movie. it is kind of, it usually it's like a Starbucks at the movie theater, but I'm going to count it anyway. Why are you getting like, what's the situation where you're getting a if coffee? I'm go, let's say I'm going to see a movie at like 11 a.m. or something. Yeah. Then I'll, I'll grab like an iced coffee, you know? That's f- I don't know. Let's not, I dude, think this that's podcast fine. will go for three more hours if you put up this <laughs> attitude, dude. <laughs> Dude, Fair. Dan will have 10 more cigarettes and nine more Red Bulls. <laughs> really want to do this. Yeah, well, it's, that's true. That's true. Um, okay, my number two kind of like crazy place to get a soda. Let's say, uh, well, there's this place in Calgary, really like, just went there last night, actually, Luke's Drug Mart. Okay. Uh, and it's an independent, like, pharmacy. But they, it's it's like a very odd, it's like a bespoke store but also just like a pharmacy like they have soft serve ice cream they have coffee they sell vinyl records uh like it's kind of like a general store kind of vibe but they also have a selection of like international like seltzers and sodas and stuff like that so it's like not a place you would think luke's drug mart would have these like really interesting and cool sodas uh but they do and i like it a lot so that's my number two Dave, right. your number one it's a um it's a laundromat actually in uh, Silver Lake where, where, where I live and um, it's a machine. Oh, oh wow. okay. And I used to like, I'll, I'll make it short as I used to go to this laundromat, but I used to do like the pickup and uh, drop off and pick up cl- uh, cleaning. Yeah. And then at some point I was like, I, and I had a laundromat facility in the apartment in the, like on the, the, in where the apartment where I live. So I was like, why am I doing this? So then I switched, but I need a change. So I would go <laughs> get their change and leave. But then the, one of the workers would catch me. He's like, you can't come back here and do <laughs> shit. So I would figure out when they would be on lunch. <laughs> <laughs> 
And one time he came up from the back and he said, he was, hey. And I, I was like, so then, but I would always get this coffee there by the machine. So when I wasn't doing laundry, it, w- it probably looked crazy to the people doing laundry. I would walk in. It was right by the door. I'd walk in, put a dollar, and it would make that sound. I'd get my coffee. I'd like kind of wave at the at, – not wave at the people, but I, they would look at me, and they're like, is he just – and I would just get coffee and leave, <laughs> which looks wild, I feel, if you're just doing laundry. Like, yeah, that grown man just come here to get yeah, coffee? Coffee out of this machine. But yeah, it's like one sugar and cream, and it was something – I. It, with it that I loved, and wow. I I would get made fun of all the time about it, or not yeah. made fun of, but just people would be like sometimes made fun of, but like you get it from there. That's my number one. That is how wow. number yes. one with a bullet. That For feels sure. crazy. Yeah, because I feel like I would guess coffee machine coffee is usually bad, right? This like, one I don't know, man. I don't know. I I rock with it, bro. Nice. Wow, yeah, love that. Stefan, you're number one. This is, I mean, a lot of people get coffee from here, obviously, but I think it's like surprisingly good, and that's McDonald's. I think they they honestly make like a decent coffee. And it's like the first time I had it, I was like kind of surprised. And probably part of it is that there's just like so much sugar in there. I um, used to go there, but for political reasons, I, I don't go there anymore. But but like I, I would I would have coffee there. Yeah. yeah I would have coffee oh, there. yeah. It's I mean, it's surprisingly I haven't gone, you know, this summer, but they'll do like the dollar drink days or whatever. You get like the dollar iced coffee or whatever. And it's, you know, surprisingly, it's OK. It's be- It's better than fucking Tim Hortons. That's for sure. The Tim iced Hortons coffee at sucks. Tim Hortons? Well, just, like- the co- just the coffee at Tim Hortons. I'll do like an iced cap what at the Tim f- Hortons. <laughs> <laughs> Dave is drinking a Tim Hortons it, coffee It is right bad. Now. Dude, I, but I love Dunkin' Donuts in America. In okay. Oh, yeah. they're, so, they're so sweet, but they're so good. Oh, my but God. But I, I find like I, the Tim Hortons coffee is, is like they're, they're, when you see them put the sugar in, you're like, yeah. Oof. Maybe maybe they changed it. I mean, I haven't had it for a while. I know they changed it at some point. No, it's, it's not ago, good. But... Obviously, not good for you. you yeah. but I'm saying when you see them scoop it. Yeah. I, that, I was like, I wish I never saw that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't want to see that because it's just a scoop and they're dumb. You know what I mean? You're yes. like, this is not. I didn't know how much. Throwing it in the cup. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's fair. Yeah. Um, okay. My number one place, uh, weird place to get soda is like when you buy one off someone on the street. Uh, oh, you know, they, like, they just, just have like, it in like eyes that just cooler. have like a cooler on yeah. the side of the sidewalk. And like, it's, oh, I've probably only done it like twice in my life, but there's just some times where you're so thirsty yeah. or you're saying you just yeah. walk by the guy and you're like, ah, oh, he's selling a, he's selling a Coke for a dollar. Like, yeah, I want that right now, you know, yeah. and you just buy it. I feel like that. Cause I also like, it's highly illegal. Like, I don't understand how. Like I, I used to live near Broadway and commercial in Vancouver and there was yeah, there's always like, there's this, a one guy, the there. one guy yeah. always there with a cooler. Yeah. And it's just like, he's there every day. It's illegal. You like, you can't just sell that on the street, but they just are like, I guess they're like, yeah, no, no, no harm, no foul. You know, I agree. Like, yeah. I'm not saying he no, should no, be yeah. shaken down or anything. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah. It's just I, like, you definitely cannot just sell products like that on the street without a business license yeah, yeah, or no, anything no. like, but it's needed though. Cause a lot of time, I mean, not, yeah. I mean, you're just thirsty and then it's, yeah. it's so convenient. They're just there. Totally. They're yeah. just the hustle. I mean, I support that. For me, it's more of the hustle. Yeah. If you're hustling this way, then not. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll buy yeah. Did you guys ever, did you have anyone in your elementary school that sold pop? Because I had that too, like a kid that would bring oh, pop. You'd always have the kid sell. who like hustled. Yeah, I think we yeah. we did, if I yeah, recall correctly. I mean, yeah. I didn't. I don't remember. Yeah, it's, it was a long time ago. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> and you saw that too. He shot at me right before he knew he was going to end the podcast. That's right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but Dave, time. you're not done. Uh, you're not done with the pod because uh, we are here at the end. But this means it's time for you to to throw out some plugs. Tell us what's going on. Um, uh, I'll be at I think the Grindstone Comedy Festival. Oh yeah, Edmonton. Odd Block. Uh, no, I think it's. Did they change it? No, it's just called Grindstone Comedy. Oh okay, Festival, okay, yeah. okay. Um, I'll be there. My show is July fourth. Okay, perfect. Yeah, perfect. and then um, sometimes I think about dying. Co-starring Daisy Ridley is on Apple and Amazon. There you go. Check oh, yeah. it out. Yeah. Got to see it in fil- uh, today. At- came out in brazil so there you go if you're listening to in brazil which we do have some brazilian have a couple, listeners I think. yeah uh go see sometimes i think about dying in theaters where can people find you you're just dave merhaj dave on- merhaj on all social medias okay there all right you go uh thank you so much dave for being here thanks to you for listening again you can follow us on twitter instagram tiktok at block party pod youtube at block party and if you want to donate to the show it's patreon.com slash block party we'll see you back here next week goodbye bye bye